Hey YouTube world, this is Marvin with Better Way to Connect TV and I have here the Dolomy D9. Yep, it's the updated version to the Dolomy D5. Um, the makers of the Dolomy uh, D9 reached out to me and asked me if, if I would do an, an, an honest review and unboxing of this of this Android TV box. And today that's what we're going to do. We're going to do an unboxing of it and then I'm going to plug it up. After that I'm going to plug it up to the TV, run it through its, go, go through its paces and show you guys what it's capable of. And um, also I want to show you, there's a lot of people that's been asking me questions, uh, different questions about some of the equipment that I use along with these boxes. Um, and also just to give you a basic uh, understanding of what an Android TV box is and why I think you should, why I think, uh, not should, but why I think it's a better alternative than your Apple TV or your Roku. Um, Android TV boxes can do so much more. They're basically like uh, miniature PCs. So now let me put this little advertisement out first before I get started. Um, I'm just a reviewer of the uh, of this device. I do not. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of the the producers of the uh, the content that's on this box. Um, just a regular guy, and I have a YouTube channel. I'm just going to do an honest review of it. This is for educational purposes only. Okay. Um, so I do not work for the company that produces box or, or anything like that. I don't have anything to do with the behind the scenes uh, deal with this, uh, this actual box. Um, but I do like it. Um, and so we're going to get into the review and I'll show you some of the things, some of the pros and some cons that I, that I saw. Okay. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the website. I'll show you the website of where you can get it from. I will also put this link in um, the description okay I also put this link in the description so here is the website that you can get it from it's called gearbest.com gearbest.com and again I'll, I'll, I'll put I'll include this link in the description um, at the time of this unboxing and review it is fifty five dollars and forty six cents fifty five dollars and forty six cents um, I didn't see any other reviews on this website for the device um, but maybe maybe uh, this will be the first one <laughs> maybe my review will be the first one now but anyway so let's get to the, unbo the unboxing portion um, as you know you guys know these boxes if you've been coming to my website my channel um, they pretty much have the same things in them there's not some of them do offer some some uh, some other little you know like special remotes and stuff like that a, a little quirky keyboards uh, stuff like that but um, they pretty much all have the same thing okay so I'm just gonna take you on a trip around the box on the front we got a 4k ultra HD uh, TV box it's got the new Amalogic s912 inside um, you got an 8 core CPU on here. Uh, the memory type is an EMMC. Then we got 4K uh, for your 4K TVs. And then it's got Wi Fi. Now, the Wi Fi is only uh, 802.11 uh, GB and N. 802.11 GB and N. So it doesn't have the newest, uh, the newest uh, standard for, for AC or anything like that. Uh, but you, what you do have on the on the on the twist side of that, you do have a gigabyte uh, Ethernet port. Okay, so on the back here's some information. You guys can pause it, pause this video if you want, and check out some of the information on the back. But let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So this is how the box looked when I when it, when it arrived to me. Okay, and so here we go. Now I've been using this box and put it back in here. I've been using the D9 and I put it back in here just to do the unboxing for you guys. So it's a very, very, it's kind of, it's a really heavy device. Not really heavy, but it's a weighted device. Um, on this side you have a, um, a standard full size SD card slot. And then on the back you have uh, two USB ports. Okay, there's a 2.0 ports. And then you got your um, HDMI. You, and these up here are breathing slots. These are breathing slots. Then you got your gigabit, gigabit Ethernet port. You got your 3.5 millimeter um, audio video jack. And then you got uh, your um, optical 
for your stereo. If you have a stereo or sound bar or receiver, you plug that in there. Okay, and then you got your your um, your AC port. Okay, there's nothing on this side under the front on the front of the device. Now there is a really uh, it's a very dim LED on the front. I like that so much because some of these Android TV boxes they come with these uh, LEDs that are so bright. I mean, like they literally light up the whole room when it's at nighttime. Um, it is a little fingerprint fingerprint prone, uh, prone the device is it's kind of got like a matte finish on here it's a real real simple device um, but like I said it's got some weight to it it's uh, it's not light at all and it's about the size probably I want to say it's not as big as a Roku 4 but definitely bigger than the um, the Roku the 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 Roku 3 it's definitely bigger than that um, but still, and when you put it under the TV at nighttime, you can barely see this thing. Okay, so just a really nice device. So device, uh, what you get in the box, like I said before, uh, you get your power, your HDMI included. Okay, HDMI included cable. You get your remote, and I've stated before this particular remote I like a lot, guys. Uh, it works very well with the box. Okay, it, it uh, as soon as you press the buttons, it it um, it activates whatever it is you want to you want. I mean, there's nothing I can, nothing I can say bad about this remote. I like it a lot. Uh, you can do everything you need to do with this uh, with this remote. Um, but I do I did buy a wireless keyboard to go with this box. Uh, to go with the Android TV box, and I'll and I'll introduce it to you later on in the video, um, and it just makes this box just works absolutely wonderful, guys. I mean, you you will have a, a good time using this box with the um, the wireless keyboard that I'm going to show you. Okay, so um, the next thing that you have in the box is your manual, and this is a basic manual um, about the box itself, and then the operating system. Some basic little informations in here. Okay. So the remote, pretty good, pretty pretty, uh, pretty good, rem um, pretty good manual. And then uh, that's it as far as the box. Nothing else in it. So again, like I said, it's very, very similar to all the other boxes that I've, all the Android boxes that I've, that I've done before, done reviews on. Um, and so we have your your um, HDMI cable, and then again with the. Uh, 5 volt on oh, 5.2 volts on this one 5.2 volts for your milli um, 5.2 milliamps uh, or millivolts or whatever how you pronounce it uh, on this and then the remote itself and the box the manual so that's everything that came in the box guys so the next portion of the video you will see me uh, connected to the TV then I'll run through its paces and uh, show you what I like about it um, Man, it's 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 a. I didn't find anything that I could say that was wrong with the box, guys. It's it's a really good box, so I'm 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 really excited to get into it and show you guys what it can do. Okay, all right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I just basically want to show you. I have my um my 4K TV right here. This is a Scepter by by. Uh, this is a Scepter. Uh, I just want to let you guys know. 4K. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, when you see the picture quality on this TV, guys, it's amazing. So, um, a lot of folks uh, don't like uh, Scepter because uh, it has a bad connotation behind it. But I'm telling you guys, for the low amount of money that it costs, uh, 4K TV is it's amazing. Okay. But anyway, back to the box right here. I just want to show you guys. You don't have to be a techno wizard to hook this up to the TV. In the back, I have my USB, I have my HDMI, my Ethernet, and also the power. Okay, I got one HDMI going out from the box to the TV. Okay, so it goes into my first HDMI port right here on the back of the TV. So just that simple, just that easy. Okay, you don't have to be a techno wizard. Um, and I have the box connected. So. So the next portion of the video, you're going to see 
um, the actual OS and we're going to run through a couple things do a speed test on here and show you guys how this box operates okay all right stay tuned okay guys I'm back and here's a home screen of the Dolomy uh, Dolomy D9 okay it's a really really nice home screen um, and I like the interface the interface is really cool this is the first interface that I've seen like this it's really different from any other um, Android TV box that I've seen um, I'm just gonna scroll through here now I'm actually using the um, K, the Logitech K830 um, keyboard and I'm just scrolling through here as you can see it just moves just really smooth and easy and then also I have my mouse if you guys can see my mouse in the center of the screen here um, and so we're gonna go back to the home screen here okay I got some games in here now all of your apps are laid out in this design there are no uh, other pages that you go to okay um, this is the OS is Android Marshmallow uh, right up here at the top you can see I have the um, the date and time also the weather also at the very very top here you have some shortcut buttons you have uh, the Ethernet button you have a USB which I do have a USB uh, install and then you also have the um, the um, settings button excuse me and then this button right here with the little t-shirt is for the actual um, the wallpaper of the home screen so you can change that uh, let's go and change it right quickly I'm going to show you a different wall screen here um, let me see and I like the one with the balloons and the girl on here okay so let's just try that and just it, it switches just like that guys so we exit out of it and so now you got a different home home screen you can also set this to uh, if you want to uh, where it will change for you okay now down here at the bottom real simple is your apps okay so I logged into Google Play it is your Google Play Store already and it's just like the normal Google Play Store it comes right up now uh, this box guys it only has one and a half gigabytes of RAM okay so 1.5 gigabytes of RAM it's got 8 gigabytes of on uh, you know of storage of inside storage uh, so you definitely want to get a um, a you know an external hard drive to go with this or USB now if you do an external hard drive it goes uh, it will take any hard drive up to 128 gigabytes okay so an external hard drive up to 128 gigabytes it does recognize that and also for the uh, SD card the SD card slot you can do that too uh, it'll take 120 by uh, 120 gigabyte uh, SD card to stick in the side okay so and here are all of my apps guys uh, just all of my apps on here okay so I had no problems whatsoever uh, logging into Google um, just a really really smooth process and did not take me any time at all um, here is YouTube again we have a lot of stuff to cover guys so I don't want to hold you too long I just want to show you how smooth this box operates for only one and a half gigabytes of RAM it operates really smooth so we're just gonna pull up something right quick like and look at it um, now I've noticed that the highest uh, the uh, it stopped working and let's go back in here uh, so I've noticed that the highest uh, resolution that you get on YouTube is 1080p but I'm telling you if you have a 4k uh, television set or 1080p television set you will not be um, you will you you will love the picture it is an actual good picture uh, so let's go ahead and pull up something right quick like I'll just go to um, okay let's go home we'll go back to home here and uh, let's just go okay let me type in here uh, 1080p uh, video or well, I'll just type in 4k okay let me type in 4k 4k uh, video okay uh, there we go 4k alright guys alright here we go 4k and we're gonna go down here and just pick something right quick like and I mean just outstanding quality guys okay outstanding quality you go here um, and let's 
scroll down. So you get 1080p quality here, okay guys? But you will not be upset with this, uh, the way this looks, this is outstanding. And it runs so smooth, guys. It runs really, really smooth. Just incredible picture quality. 1080p, you can't go wrong, okay? Um, so that's, that's YouTube, okay? So let's go ahead and back out of this. Go back to the home screen here. Um, you do have a full web browser on here, guys. Uh, again, this is a miniature PC, okay? This is a miniature PC, guys. So let's just go to uh, NY Times right quick, like. Uh, let's see. And let's pull it. Now, that's a really busy website. It's got all kinds of stuff on here. Uh, but look how fast this box pulls it up, okay? And so in a couple of seconds, it will be, well, you can just scroll up and down the page. And it is still going, still going. And uh, there's a lot of ads and it's done. And so now you can just scroll down the page guys okay so look at this uh, this is the New York Times so I, I always like going here uh, this is a test um, for um, this box here a good test for this website right here uh, let's try another one right quick like let's pull up MSNBC MS let's go right through here this is MS and BC and and see what we get guys okay it's another really busy website I like this because there's a lot of uh, Java that's running on here a lot of ads uh, that's running on here and so it's a good test to see um, the capability of the chip on this box okay and it's done and so we're scrolling through now you can plug this to any television set and turn it into a smart TV. Okay, guys, I'm actually going through live news right here. Okay, so I mean I, I cannot go 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 wrong on this. All right, so so these are the headliners right here. I'm just scrolling through, guys. Different story has a different story. So you get the point. It's an actual web browser. Uh, one more just to be on the safe side. Uh, let's go to Amazon. Amazon is my favorite website. I always go there and boom, pulls it up in seconds. So, no problem there, guys. All right. So, let's go on to Cody. This is the Cody Center. Um, now, this right here, when the box came to me, Cody was not pre installed. So, but this center right here, if you go through here, uh, you can literally pick out the ones that you want, only the add-ons that you want, okay? So, I, I really, really like this. You can see some of the add-ons that I've picked out already uh, to watch movies, okay? And so, let's exit out of here, and then let's go into the cartoon section uh, for kids. If you have kids, guys, you can download cartoon sections here. And what this is, these are actual add-ons that go to the Kodi software, okay? And you pick the ones that you want. And what these add-ons do is they comb the, um, they are actual links to certain places on the, on the internet where you can get your content for free, okay? And so these are different uh, TV links, uh, TV Cloud, Fresh Start, uh, all of these things in here that are that help Cody bring you all your content okay so uh, and then you have also have sports now if you don't know if you don't know which you know which uh, I, I backed out of that you got NBC Sports Live uh, NBA uh, Pro Sports so all these different add-ons to bring you um, um, sports but if you don't know anything about the add-ons you don't really you, you just hit all Okay, and it will just download everything that it has on on uh, in the Cody Center, so you can hit all and then back out of this, okay, and then go right into Cody. And Cody is a um, it's basically a, a software that um, you, that uses third party add-ons to bring you content for free over the internet. Okay, so this is the this is the um, the 
the program that people use to watch this stuff for free okay so we're going to go into videos and then we go to add-ons and if you notice the ones that i can the ones that i picked are already here okay so let's go into cartoon crazy just to give you guys an idea of what these links do and how they work okay so i'm just going to pull in um i'm just pulling popular okay and so it's working down there in the right you can see it's working and so these are when i scroll down you'll see and you can just pick on one okay so i'll just uh everybody likes the minions so we'll just pick on that and pick that one and then we got choices here we can go with hd 720p um let's go with hd and see what happens uh 1080p let's see what happens here okay and so it automatically starts guys the minions move okay so right just like that just that easy and so that's how Cody works. These are all third-party uh, third add-ons that go to Cody and bring you your content for free. Now, this box has a lot of stuff on here for free. Um, but let me just state, okay, when you have add-ons, I mean, uh, the, the applications like Netflix, Hulu, you still have to subscribe to them like regular, okay? Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that little interruption, guys. Um, so yeah, basically, now, as I was saying before, uh, the applications like Hulu, Netflix, Amazon, you have to subscribe to them uh, like normal, okay? Um, but this box just makes it, um, uh, this box doesn't, when it comes to Amazon, I mean, when it comes to Netflix and Amazon and Hulu and all the other uh, major apps out there, this box doesn't give you anything for free, okay? You still have to subscribe to those uh, specific services if you want them. Um, but I like it because it just puts them all together. Like uh, some of the, some the, the only other device that I know out there that gives you all of the applications uh, on one device is Roku. Roku is really good, is really good for that because it gives you not only Amazon, um, it gives you Netflix, it gives you um, Voodoo, it gives you Hulu, it gives you all of the major apps um, uh, in one device. Okay, so like if you bought the Apple TV, you wouldn't get um, you wouldn't get uh, certain things. You wouldn't get like the well, if you bought the Apple TV, Amazon does come on there, uh, and it does get uh, Hulu. It does get, um, but there's some other things that you can't do with the Apple TV. All right, but if you buy the um, the the Amazon Fire TV box, then there's there's thing there's certain things that you won't get on there. So some some of the boxes have some items and some don't. But the Roku pretty much has um, all of the major apps on there. But the Android TV box, there's no exclusion on on apps. Okay, you can get whatever app. Uh, that's out there you can have it working on your Android TV box okay so and this is just like normal I go through here but uh, and we'll just okay so I'll just hit one that's already that I've been watching and see how fast it operates here comes right up guys so we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that uh, this is an app that was already pre-installed on the box that that the one I got it cloud TV and on here it's another free uh, extension. You just pick whatever area you're in. Uh, for me, it would be the United States. Okay. And so then we have different channels that we can um, click into. Okay. Um, and let's just pick one here. Um, and it only takes a couple seconds. If it doesn't come up, then, well, that link doesn't work. Um, yeah okay so it doesn't work but not all these channels work some of them do um and some of them don't but the gist of it is that this is all free content right here okay so let's go ahead and get out of that and go back to the home screen guys uh, this was one of the apps that came pre-installed in the box okay uh, you have a movie player we went through cody uh, the cody add-on center Okay, app installer. So the games, I will show you the gaming portion of this box. Uh, it is really good. We got Crackle on here. Um, so uh, 
here is a file manager. I have a USB stick already uh, included. So these are some shows that I went ahead and downloaded. Okay, so murder in the first. And I just basically want to show you guys how fast this operates. Okay, so you just pick whatever player you want. Um, I'm going to pick uh, just the first one right here. Okay, and so it brings it up just that fast, guys. Okay, so this is a show that I downloaded myself and I put on a USB stick and boom, I'm watching it. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and exit out of this. And so, yeah, like I said, guys, it is really, really fast. Just real quick, let me show you uh, the speed test. Okay, so uh, speed test here. And boom, here's the speed test. This is the last one that we did. Let's do another one. All right. Now my speed here at the house, I have a uh, I have 100 megabits down per second. Okay, that's really good. Right now, it just showed me 190 megabits down per second, and we are doing uh, 10 megabits per second upload. So really good speeds. Okay, so that is connected hardwire, guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you use just a Wi-Fi. Okay, stay, stay tuned. Okay, so now we have it on Wi-Fi. As you can tell, it's right up in the, at the top. And we're going to do a speed test. And I just want to show you guys the difference of this device uh, from Wi-Fi to having it hardwired. Okay, so this is my Wi-Fi signal. I'm getting at eight megabits down, eight or nine, nine megabits down per second versus 190. <laughs> okay, so you see the difference. All right, guys, you see, uh, let's see if we can, um, let's see here if I can exit out of this and uh, let me go into uh, settings right quick like. And let's go to Wi-Fi network. All right. And let's see here. Since Wi-Fi is connected. All right. So it's a huge leak, guys. But again, let's just do another one just to be on the safe side. Okay. Um, and my Wi-Fi signal isn't that bad. Uh, sometimes you get, whenever you do these tests, uh, sometimes you get slower, slower tests than others. Um, okay, so yeah, that was about, this is about right. Okay, so 12, 12 megabits. Okay. So 12 megabits down per second. And we got mm, seven, is it seven? Will it give me seven? No, six, six, six megabits per second upload speeds. So we had 12 and six versus having it connected hardwire. So you can see just from this test, that having it hardwired is the best way to go. Um, if you if you have to use Wi-Fi, definitely use it. I mean, there's no other choice. But definitely, you get the best uh, results when you go hardwired. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and switch back over to hardwired, and I'm gonna show you guys some 4K clips, and then we're gonna go ahead and and um, and uh, in, you know call it at that point. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back, and so now we have. Um, I'm going to take you guys over to 4K clips. Um, this is Ultra Flix. This is a, a what? This is an application that I downloaded from the Google Play Store. Anyone can download this application for free. Now, the content that's on this app on on this application, uh, they do give you 4K movies, but you have to rent them. They are not free. Okay, but I just wanted to show you that this box is capable of 4K. Now, I'm not saying that you have to uh, download this application or it's not my advice to download the application. This is something that I found on the Google Play Store that will allow you to watch 4K content. You can rent movies through this application. Um, again, some people don't like it, but we're just going to use it just to test um, the 4K uh, and let you guys see this box is capable of 4K. So I just want to go through here right quick like and check my settings. So let's go ahead and go back and let's find us a movie to watch in 4K. Now, again, I want to also preface this too. Um, some of the movies were not shot in 4K. 
um, so they're up converted to 4k okay so here's a 4k clip or peak this is transformers extension extension and so yeah uh, and it pulls it up just real smooth that was me I paused it guys pulls it up real smooth and you can see just a full uh, it only takes a couple seconds and then you're at uh, 4k okay so I'm sorry that you can't see the actual quality of this guys but it this is this is um, it's really outstanding quality uh, the camera does not do this justice okay so let's go ahead and back to the menu okay so let's go back out and let's just give another one right quick like um, uh, okay, so this was not in 4K. Not every movie that they have is in 4K. So let's just find another one right quick. Like, um, let's go to Minority Report. Oh, okay, so they up converted this one to 4K because I don't think it was shot in 4K, but it was up converted in 4K. And again, just crystal clear quality, pop right up. There's no no buffering, no stuttering. So we're going to exit this right here, and we're going to go back. Okay. So again, this box is capable of 4K. I was playing 4K on here, 4K movies, with no problems, guys. No problems whatsoever. It does not stutter. It doesn't buffer. It just plays the movies outright. Um, it's a really good box. It is really an outstanding box, guys. I cannot say enough good things about it. Um, I definitely, um, let me see here. We're going to go ahead and go through the gaming portion. I just want to show you guys a couple games. I'll show you the the, um, the controller that I use. And then that's it, okay? Um, but yeah, definitely an outstanding box. I love the interface. It is really good to go. Okay, stay tuned for the games. Hey guys, this is um, Beach Boogie Bliss that I downloaded for free in the Google Play Store. Um, the graphics, as you can tell, look outstanding on this. I didn't have any problems playing this. I'm using the um, the game controller that I, the Game Sir game controller. So this is uh, definitely something to keep the kids busy for a while, and also yourself too, <laughs> if you like playing games. I had an accident there. Wow. Okay, so let's see if we can get back in this game here. So as you can tell, I mean, it works no problems. Um, I don't see any um, any issues with the graphics on here. I turned the graphics up high too, guys. It's kind of hard for me to talk and then plus <laughs> play the game at the same time. So yeah. Uh, so this is uh, Beach Boogie Bliss no issues here I don't see any frame losses um, it's a really smooth gameplay okay alright Beach Boogie Bliss the next one is we're gonna go to Asphalt 8 okay guys this is Asphalt 8 and again um, really smooth frameworks I don't see anything missing I don't see any stutters well you see some stutters here and there every now and then um, from what, I, what I can tell everything is just just fine uh, again, I'm I'm not that good at playing playing games, guys. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, I can't play too well. <laughs> but yeah, just to show you what the what the gameplay is like on Asphalt Eight, uh, really smooth, um, fresh rates. Uh, I don't see anything. You know the detail is really really clear. I went in and um, changed up the, the settings to high, and so yeah, it's just really really sharp. The the joystick is very very uh, sensitive, so I'll probably have to change that next time around. Okay, guys, S O eight. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, this is an outstanding box for the price. Um, let me, um, I think I forgot to show you the Amazon Amazon link at the beginning of the video. So let me just show you the Amazon link. Um, so again, here it is. Now the price on the Amazon link is a little bit different. Um, it is actually $47.99 on Amazon. Um, and so you can look at it, the Dolomy 
D9. Okay, so yeah. $47.99. Um, in my opinion, guys, I think it's worth every bit of it. Um, it I didn't see any issues with this box whatsoever. Uh, if you don't know any, if you don't know too much about coding, my advice to you would be get on YouTube and you you can find out everything you want to know about coding. Um, it is not a hard thing to do. I would can, I would uh, rate this box as a basic user friendly box. I mean, you literally can order this box, get it home, and um, and and actually, if you are already subscribed to Netflix and Hulu, uh, you can do that. Uh, through this box just uh, log into your 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 apps and all your information is there your Netflix uh, your Hulu uh, Amazon worked well on here uh, let me see if I didn't show you guys Amazon um, now some of the apps on here Amazon did not come with the box I actually downloaded it uh, but it worked fine came up just fine for me um, so and also Plex came up just fine for me guys the speed of this box I'm telling you it operates as if it's one of those um, those really expensive high-end uh, Android TV boxes but no problems whatsoever guys um, I would buy this uh, I would recommend this for fr uh, friends and family anytime anytime Again, I would recommend this for family, uh, uh, friends and family anytime, guys. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this box. Uh, the you you don't have to buy. I don't want to mislead anybody. You do not have to buy a wireless keyboard to operate this box. But um, that's just one of my advices for you um, because uh, the wireless keyboard opens up so many. It makes it easier when when you have to type stuff. And uh, again, this is a miniature PC, guys. Um, but you can do everything you have to do or need to do with this remote, okay? Um, but with this new user interface, it makes it totally easy to use the original remote. So you don't have to buy a wireless keyboard. Um, the game, the game controller, if you want to play games or if you want to buy this for your kids, um, definitely you would want to get invested in a game controller. Uh, the games are not some of the games are not um, useful with the with um, the the remote or the the the, Andrew, the keep the wireless keyboard. Okay, um, I definitely would like I said before I, I classify this as a basic user friendly box. Um, if you are trying to cut back on your cable bill uh, and you are in a place where it's not good for over the air antenna, this box is good for you. Uh, if you want to give this away as a gift to a college kid or, uh, you know, to a family member or friends, um, this is a good box to give. I would not say um, you want to give it to an elderly person uh, or, you know, an older person who's only used to just grabbing a remote. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but definitely this box gives you everything you need. It gives you all of your streaming apps. It gives you your online. You can even even do Skype with this box. So um, it's just uh, it's just too many things to name off the the um, the the number of things that you can do with this box. Um, that's the reason why I like Android TV boxes so much um, because it's the 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 way you can use them and uh, you can either you can also turn those these uh, Android TV boxes into media PCs too. Um, you can have your Plex running straight off this box. Uh, so definitely, it is a good box. Uh, as for operating the smoothness of uh, the smoothness of it, uh, this is Android Marshmallow. Um, uh, man, I, I I can just keep going on and on, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, thank you guys for for um, returning my channel. Thank you for all the, the good feedback. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll try to get get, get to you uh, as soon as I can. Um, but other than that, you guys uh, have a happy and safe uh, Christmas coming up. Um, and stay tuned. Take care.